Is your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 running slow? Are you getting bored of your touch face ROMs, lack of customization capabilities and faces? Are you simply want to upgrade to the latest version of Android so that you can get an improved overall performance? Hey guys, my name is Seth and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the most feature packed and latest Oreo ROM for Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And a big thanks to our sponsor Surfshock VPN for sponsoring this video. Watch this video till the end to learn more about the product. Folks, now before I go ahead and show you anything else inside of this ROM, let me take you inside of settings where we will be taking a look at the actual Android version of this ROM. Now here guys, in about device, you can see that the Android version of this ROM is 8.1.0. I'm going to be taking you to the section where basically all the magic happens. And all of this video, if not most of the part of this video, is going to be based on that section. So that section is actually located inside of settings and right here you'll find configuration. So go ahead and tap on that and right here you will find all the settings which you can basically change for modifying each and every element of this system. Now I'm going to be showing you the feature which I believe most of you look for when you install an AOSP ROM on your Android device. Well I'm actually talking about the on-screen navigation buttons. So right under the navigation tab you will find this toggle. So enable that and right after that you will find the on-screen navigation buttons enabled on your device. You guys, uh, with this ROM you get a very similar feature from Windows 10 which allows you to take select a screenshot on your screen. Now you can either access that feature from notification panel or from settings. Now uh, since I'm inside of the notification panel so I'm going to be showing you that feature right here. So this is a toggle which is going to be helping us uh, in taking the screenshot. So uh, it is called partial screenshot and uh, all you have to do is just long press on it and then it's going to take you to the application where you currently are at. Now, here uh, you can select any certain area of which you want to take the screenshot just like that and guys just like Samsung's edge phones we have a very similar feature here uh, like if you uh, swipe from the edge of the phone it gives you a small menu with the application shortcuts now if I do that here you can see we have a very similar result going on of course guys you can add or remove any applications from this uh, circular bar uh, very easily so in order to do that you have to get inside of configuration settings and from here you have to get under the gestures tab and while you're inside of that you will find app circle bar so go ahead and tap on that and from here guys you can make uh, uh, the changes to the app uh, circle bar according to your taste like uh, if you want to adjust the height of this bar you can move this trigger height slider so as you can see as I'm moving this slider uh, the height of this bar is changing and of course guys uh, you can also change the width of it as well by moving this trigger width slider and guys there is a very similar feature to this app circle bar which is accessed in a similar manner but it performs very differently so uh, this is the panel which I'm actually trying to talk about so as you can see here uh, it is giving us some functions along with the battery status and date and time and of course you can also change the settings of this menu by tapping inside of the pile tab now here guys uh, make the changes according to your taste and yeah and guys if anytime you feel like your task manager look is getting very bad or you're not enjoying the look of it well you can change its look to this one right here and I know it looks uh, much more organized and simple and of course you can get the preview of your open application by tapping on this arrow right next to the application just like that so to get this look you have to get inside of configuration settings and inside of uh, the configuration settings you have to move under the recent tab and right here on the bottom you will find this option uh, under the alt native uh, recents slim recent so enable that and you will get this beautiful look right here and of course if you want to go back uh, to the old look you can disable that and you will get uh, the old uh, task manager so uh, there it is and guys a fun thing I forgot to mention uh, I have already made two videos on uh, Galaxy Note 3 showing how to install Galaxy S9 ROM on it so if you haven't checked uh, those videos out you can check them by tapping this annotation right here so getting a link with the configurations let's just take a look at what we have inside of status bar options now guys if you want to change the position of your clock you can do that very easily by getting inside a clock and date menu right here tap on position and choose your desired location and you can also change the size of your clock by moving this font size slider just like that it's pretty easy and uh, now let's just take a look at one of the best features of this 
platform and that is the network traffic feature now guys with this feature you can basically keep track of uh, your data uh, like at what speed uh, any certain application is being downloaded on your mobile phone so uh, by turning on this feature you can see up at the top in the status bar it is showing me uh, the uploading speed and the downloading speed oh, and by the way guys look what at the top I'm actually having right now well uh, this green bar is actually indicating me that how much battery I'm having right now on my device and you can also have this enabled on your device so to have this you have to get inside of status bar options and right here you will find battery so go ahead and tap that and right inside of this menu you will find this toggle right next to battery bar so go ahead and enable that it will be disabled by default and you can also change the thickness of this bar uh, so to change that scroll down and right here you'll find thickness so move the slider towards right to increase the thickness and of course you can also change the color of this bar by tapping on this icon so uh, let me just quickly change the color to pink because pink looks pretty prominent all right guys now it's time to take a look at the sponsors of today's video surfshot vpn application and by the way guys if you do not know in today's era your internet connection is not secure at all whether or not you're under a public network now the best way to encrypt your data is to make use of an application called vpn and this application right here uh, called surfshock uh, serves very greatly in this regard and guys the great thing about this service is that the fact uh, that this company is actually registered under british virgin islands and that means any business that is registered there is not allowed to disclose their uh, customers personal data no matter what so this brings us uh, to the conclusion that this application is not going to be logging anything on our devices and another thing which i really really like about this service is that it actually allows us to get registered on multiple devices using one single account and this is something that we do not get to see uh, in many applications nowadays anyways the thing which kind of tends me up about this application is that it is right now limited to uh, mozilla firefox google chrome and android and on their website it is stated that they're going to be uh, soon expanding their service to other platforms all right guys now let me show you uh, the countries that are available here for you to get connected now here's the list of all the countries that are available i know there aren't many but they perform definitely very well now let me show you the subscription plans that come along with this service now here guys on the screen you can see all the plans and uh, my personal favorite is this one this right here because uh, you're paying uh, very less with this plan you're paying four dollars per month or 47.99 dollars per year so do take a look at this uh, application i hope you will really enjoy taking a look at this service guys i also downloaded the an2 benchmark application on my device so to basically get to know that how much score can i get using this from and surprisingly enough guys i got the score of about 60,000, which uh, is an amazing score for sure now guys, I also did the same test on the stock ROM and the results were very, very bad. So this is what I actually got there. So as you can see, these numbers are fairly less than what I actually got uh, using this ROM. Now, as the numbers show, this ROM performs absolutely uh, well. And not only that, you also get an amazing battery life with it. And guys, I've used so many ROMs out there like Magma ROM, Aspire ROM, Phronesis ROM, and none of those ROMs could give me uh, the battery uh, life like what this ROM offers and of course guys I couldn't go much deeper uh, in other areas of this ROM like the camera because all of them are working absolutely fine uh, I didn't want to uh, waste much of your time so yeah now I'm gonna be showing you guys that how you can install this ROM on your device alright you guys now first of all we will be installing Torp Recovery 3.2.1 on our Samsung Galaxy Note 3 devices and if you have any older version of Torp than uh, this version then please do not use that because that is not gonna be working with this ROM and uh, in addition in addition to uh, Torp Recovery, we will also be flashing one more file and that is the bootloader on our Galaxy Note 3 devices uh, so that we do not end up having any sort of networking issues. Now guys, before you go ahead and open up Odin, I just want to let you know that these files are going to be model specific. So do take a look in the description where I will be putting all the links uh, for these files for your uh, model so that you do not uh, end up messing your phone. Alright, so let me just quickly open up my Odin application and here guys you have to tap on options and uh, from here deselect auto reboot and after that guys get inside of the download mode on your phone and after that connect your phone to the PC so let me just do that real quick so guys after that uh, you will find the blue box right here uh, that will actually show you that now you are able to flash the files on your device and after that go ahead and tap on AB and from here you have to select your Torp recovery so my PC is kind of slow so bear with me 
all right so here we are so this is the file which I'm gonna be selecting and after that tap on BL which basically stands for bootloader and from here select the bootloader file which is this one right here and then tap on OK and after that guys uh, go ahead and tap on start now within a couple of seconds uh, these files will be flashed uh, on our Android devices so yeah I'll meet you in the custom recovery uh, with the ROM file so yeah I uh, one thing I forgot to mention you also have to store the ROM file on your device so uh, do download that uh, the links are gonna be in the description of this video so guys once you're inside of the custom recovery go ahead and tap on Vime and then advanced Vime here you have to select these items after that swipe to wipe them up and now guys you have to move to the location where you save your ROM file so choose the ROM file and then swipe to confirm flash now guys that is going to be taking a couple of minutes and after uh, it's done flashing we will be installing the Google Apps so guys as you can see the ROM has been successfully flashed and now we are able to uh, flash the Google Apps which are left behind so go ahead and choose the Google Apps and after that swipe to flash it alright folks now before we go ahead and end this video I just want to make a small request if you haven't watched the video which I made a couple of days back regarding Galaxy S9 ROM for Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Go ahead and tap this annotation and yes, yeah, see you guys next time.